Let's go north, actually. The cycle will reach its zenith. Should you want it to, or afternoon? And then what happens? Nothing good, I bet. And then all will perish. I feel like there's a way down into this. Yep, right there. I passed it. It's like right at the beginning. You really won't feel it. No, come to have a go. Give it your best shot. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Gold first. Then you can hit me. Strange way to earn your keep. Do many take you up on this? Plenty. Lots of angry people in this city. No one else to take it out on. Go on. You seem like you've something pent up. So, you having a go or not? Hmm. Of course I'm not going to hit you. Then move. Let someone else have a go. What? It's not good to bottle things up. Alright. to slashing damage. Uh, assuming piercing damage ain't gonna do anything either. Got an idea. Interesting, to say the least. This is, uh... doesn't really tell you, does it? No entry, no exit. I mean, aside from going this way, Oh my god, really? A natural one? You're better than this, Hysterion. There we go. Is it because I took the that, that armor off? I think maybe it is. I, f I feel like it might be. <laughs> what kind of armor did I give you? That's, that is light, right? It is light.
course, a guild hall. Nice. We want to talk to. Yeah, here's where we want to go right here. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they failed to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the oh, very least. Base. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me? This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorne, general of the absolute, champion of Merkel, unkillable tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. Right. Your nine fingers keen, Guildmaster. A little less impressive as revelations go. You'll forgive the spying, I hope. The Guild keeps watch for anyone of interest passing through our gates. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. I need information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. How is it you know so much about the cult of the Absolute and its leaders? Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects. Traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried-out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half-gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. Yeah. There's more to it than just the dead three. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Tell her everything, the enslaved Elder Brain, the Astral Prism, you. Huh. Hmm. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. So what do you plan to do now that you know? I had no intention of leaving my city in the Dead Three's hands. Definitely not leaving it to some slimy shit that doesn't even have hands. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? Why do I need the guild? I've been doing well enough without you so far. <laughs> you have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. You find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. Damn. The absolutes at our gate. And the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. What can I do to help you? I was planning to soften you up at <laughs> first, but... Straight to business, then. You've been seen with a certain harper. Grey of hair, somewhat spiky of manner. 
You know Zahira. We're practically sisters. <laughs> so much so, I even stopped trying to have her killed a few years back. I need to speak with her. She's still getting the lay of the land, I expect. I have information that might help with that. So, remind her to pay an old friend a visit, would you? Can't you just tell me and I'll pass the word along? I could, but she wouldn't thank either of us for that. Trust me. Now, is there anything else you need? I ran into some of your thugs, the Rivington Rats. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? I had to kill the leader. Zenovia. Always told the girl that mouth would cost her a head. I could wish she'd shown some restraint, but I doubt she'd have returned it. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Damn. Okay. What do you need now? Oh, darling, I'm... I... It sounds... Okay, Jahira... Is right there. Must have a word, Jahira. Oh, I've had a lifetime's feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. As do I. He's protected by his steel watch for now. And Orin will have her own defenses, should we choose to play the part of Gortash's bloodhounds. We cannot expect either of the Chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we are to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. What do you think of this warning? The doppelganger in our camp. Mm. A harper learns to doubt. To peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say. Isn't it? Tell her about the encounter in Nine Fingers. Ah, I know what she speaks of. I need uh, information from her. And a pardon from you. For I have not been overly generous with the truth. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mince of Rashomon? The name is as oh, here we go. as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles, who saved the city more than once. You traveled with you back in the old days. I sense you mean no insult, calling scarce a century ago the old days, which is considerably more insulting. Mince is an old friend, perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. What happened? Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. 
What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there. Cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Mince charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. And here you are. You made the right choice. Don't second guess yourself. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Oh. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Then let's find him. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? <laughs> perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. Nine Fingers King controls the guild, which in turn controls every criminal racket from Heapside to the High Hall. Nothing happens in this city that she doesn't hear of sooner or later. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall, huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. As you wish. Gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kalimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. You already know I'm a friend of Jahira's. How nice. You won't find many of those in my guild hall. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak, or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god, and a new name with it. Stone Lord. Lies. The Stone Lord. The new gang boss your people are so afraid of. Exactly the one. Guild crews may be prone to exaggeration, but not in this case. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? Oui. I see no Harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. She's not alone. She has me. 
If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. Oh. Search the guild hall for cleans. What, Lady AQ still playing that game? I don't have one ready. No distractions, mate. Nine Fingers has me watching over Pierre Priss here. Wants our friends and parliament close with this new duke making moves. You did not see me. A peer of the Parliament openly walking the Guildhall would sell a few copies of Boulder's Mouth, I expect. What's the point in paying the Guild for protection when they've pulled back all their crews? There's a bloody army coming! Before you ask, I ain't got no ah, you're glitching. time for Prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? <laughs> uh, got any gossip you can share? Around here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. Now, what can I get you? Uh. You are not known to me. For supplies, seek the bugbear. To trade trinkets, the fetcher's brats. I am Ukta, duly elected guild bursar, and I will not have my time wasted. Oh, is that what Nine Fingers was doing earlier? Wasting guild time with this Stone Lord business? Hmm. You might say so. I could not possibly comment. <laughs> I sense there is no love lost between the two of you. I need not love to serve. You have a point you wish to make? The quicker I deal with the Stone Lord, the quicker Nine Fingers gets back to business. Hmm. I have not come so far by indulging in petty disputes. But I am open to transactions of mutual benefit i am interested in gaining access to vaults beneath the counting house i'd pay well for keys to those vaults provided said vaults are uh, not emptied prematurely of course <laughs> i suspect that what you seek might also be found beneath the counting house i tell you this only as a matter of mutual interest she plans to ambush Minsk at the Counting House. But what the hells would he want there? What you do with that information is a matter for yourself. Now, back to the vault keys. Do we have business to conduct? I have no keys to sell right now. Until you do, then. Oh, Kidoki. I ain't got no money <laughs> to buy anything. <laughs> Bolex. This is where it came out, right? Yes. I feel like this will eventually lead 
to where Orin's Orin is eventually. The Counting House. More bastion than bank, I'm afraid. Minsk must have a way in. But it's never had much use for coin beyond whatever sharp steel it could buy. There must be something in the vaults the Great Chosen are after. All the more reason to get there. Swiftly. So you do believe he's working for the cult? I have no reason to doubt the Guildmaster's information. Only her conclusions. The Stone Lord she describes sounds nothing like Minsk. As for the name, well, a bad joke, perhaps. The time of troubles ended almost a century and a half ago. I weathered the years between with all the elven grace you have no doubt come to expect. But do you know how Minsk, a human, passed those years? I'll give you a hint. They named him the Beloved Ranger. You recall the urban myth that trickled through the lower city fest hall some years back. A hero who had been turned into a statue, returning to life in the city's hour of need. Oh, he's some hero of prophecy. No! He's an idiot who pissed off some gutter mage with a flair for petrification. To this day, I still don't know all the details. I don't even know how he was freed. Harper work would take me from the city, sometimes for years at a time. The few occasions I visited his monument, well, I took it as a moment for reflection. To think of old friends, and the fight I had to continue in their name. And during all my self-serious brooding, that big, dumb, insufferable buffoon was staring me in the face. And she stared right back without even realizing it was him. I did. On occasion, I even found myself critiquing the stonework. Surely his head was not so large as this. I cannot call myself a particularly good friend. But I am his friend. And I cannot let nine fingers have him. You're sure? Later, then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. <laughs> 